Breaking news, Chopper 3 over the aftermath of the Parkway shooting where you can see empty chairs and debris left behind by a crowd running for cover. Oh my God. Oh my God. It was complete mayhem as people ran from the sound of gunfire that struck two police officers. And we just learned that 44-year-old John Foster, a deputy from the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, was one of those two officers shot last night. He was grazed in the shoulder and is recovering at home this noon. And a Philadelphia Fire Department Highway Patrol officer also recovering at home this afternoon after being grazed in the head in the shooting last night. Good afternoon to you, everybody. I'm Janelle Burrell. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, streaming live on CBS News Philly. At this hour, we can tell you the search is still on for the shooter involved. The Fraternal Order of Police now offering a $20,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. And we're going to take you out live to the Ben Franklin Parkway, where the fireworks display was interrupted by gunfire last night. And this is still a very active crime scene at this hour. Our Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden joining us live from the Parkway with the latest in this ongoing investigation. Joe, you've been following this from the start. What can you tell us at this point? Yeah, well, Janelle out here right now, technically the largest crime scene possibly Philadelphia has known. Primary question right now for investigators. Was this shooting one of a targeted nature or was this random where the shooter was simply firing at will, possibly even into the air? Again, that is very much in play at this noon hour. Police do tell me right now sources have largely dispelled any suggestion the shooter sought high ground, that this was some sort of potentially a sniper setup. They are ruling that out at this time. I'm told police have yet to recover shell casings that matched the bullets. Now, both officers, as we've been reporting, were treated and released from the hospital last night, something the Fraternal Order of Police calls a miracle. It was 947, Monday, July 4th, 2022, when the crescendo of Philadelphia's Welcome America fireworks finale was marred by gunfire. Two officers hit as fireworks continue to launch in the background, creating an unbelievably chaotic atmosphere for spectators and police. At times, police thought they were dealing with an active shooter situation as tens of thousands of people, including children, scattered for their lives. Radio transmission revealed a distressed and confused operation as officers asked for the relay of information and instructions. Commanders told police to simply move the crowd east, which would be into Center City in the direction of City Hall. We are aware, unaware, make that of any injuries to people. One of the wounded officers has been identified as 44-year-old John Foster, a deputy from Montgomery County Sheriff's Department. Revised information released today reveals the department tells us he was grazed in the shoulder and not shot, as had been initially stated by investigators. The highway patrol officer from Philadelphia Police was grazed in the head. He has not yet been identified. And again, both have been treated and released. It is important to note investigators again, with a word of caution, their early investigation is taking them into the direction that this was random gunfire, even perhaps someone hopping off their gun, firing into the air, and then these officers are both somehow, they are, came into contact uh, with the bullets as those weapons had been discharged. Police have not made any arrests. Again, the FOP is offering a $20,000 reward leading to any information that could possibly take them in the direction of an arrest. And so far, Philadelphia police have not indicated if at any point today they will be taking questions from reporters. We will continue to ask. We're live along the parkway for now. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joan, we know you'll stay on top of this as we hope to get more information from investigators in this case. Thank you for that report. And now we want to show you this incredible image. This is the Philadelphia Highway Patrol officer had. He was the one who was grazed in the head by the bullet that ended up lodged in this cap here which you can see at the top right corner of your screen. There's also inside that hat a memorial card for the late father, Steve Wetzel. In the words of the police union president, an angel was on his shoulder. And during a press conference after the shooting, Philadelphia's Mayor Jim Kenney made what some say was a shocking statement about how he says he really feels about being the mayor of the city. I'm concerned every single day. There's not an event 
or a day where I don't lay on my back and let you look at the ceiling and wonder, worry about stuff. So everything we have in the city uh, at, over the last seven years, I worry about. I don't enjoy Fourth of July. I don't enjoy the, the, the Democratic National Convention. I didn't enjoy the, the uh, um, uh, NFL draft. I'm waiting for something bad to happen all the time. So it's, I'll be happy when I'm not here, when I'm not mayor and I can enjoy some stuff. So you're looking forward to not being mayor? Yeah. Well, after that news conference last night, Mayor Kenny tweeted, quote, I love this city. And as mayor, there's nothing I want, nothing more I want than to help solve this problem and keep our residents and visitors safe. And on Twitter, we asked our viewers what you think the mayor, about the mayor, should he resign after what he said during last night's news conference. So far, nearly 79% of people who responded said yes, he should resign. About 21% said no.